Colorado's Supreme Court ruled he is not an eligible candidate, removing him from the state's ballot. Trump spoke tonight at a campaign event in Iowa. He did not address that decision. I'm Blair Miller. And I'm Sean Gables. The historic ruling is unchartered territory, relying heavily on a rarely used 14th Amendment Civil War era disqualification clause. Atlanta News First Patrick Quinn joins us outside of the Fulton County Courthouse. And Patrick Trump is the leading candidate for the 2024 Republican nomination, a spokesperson from his campaign already condemning the ruling. And that spokesperson in a campaign email tonight called this ruling a tyrannical ruling after the Colorado State Supreme Court. They ruled that the former president, he violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, specifically the insurrectionist clause. Now, this was a historic ruling that is likely headed right to the U.S. Supreme Court. This case obviously has huge political implications for the United States, for every state, for the world. And I think when the Supreme Court decides what to do about this, legal niceties will definitely take a back seat to political consideration. Georgia State Constitutional Law Professor Eric Siegel stressed Colorado's high court had legal standing in their ruling, but he believes now the U.S. Supreme Court will choose politics over law. They're going to do what they think is in the best interest of America, and to them what's in the best interest of America is a strong Republican Party. If they think Donald Trump makes for a strong Republican Party, they will reverse this. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene on social media quick to condemn the ruling, saying, quote, the Democrats and four Colorado judges just stole the election away from the people of Colorado and robbed them of their right to vote for President Trump. Just a year ago, Green faced allegations of violating Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger accepted a judge's ruling saying Green was qualified to run for re-election and added that voters should decide if someone remains in office. Siegel believes the Supreme Court here should follow suit. The reason I don't think Donald Trump should be disqualified is because whether or not he engaged in insurrection under the law is a cloudy issue. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And I think reasonable people can disagree on that question. To disqualify the front runner of the Republican Party and a former president, we need certainty. Now, there is a lot still to watch for surrounding this case. First off, will other states follow suit, like Colorado? Other states who are also considering this insurrectionist clause, or potentially these states may wait for the Supreme Court to issue their ruling. Now, to watch Colorado, their deadline for the primary election is January 5th, so we could see a lot happen really quickly. We're live outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Patrick, and to give you some perspective on how rare Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is, it was primarily used after the Civil War in 1872, and it has rarely been used since. We checked posthumously. It was used twice, involving two members of the Confederacy in 1975 and 1978, and most recently in 2022. That's only three times that we know of so far. And